Hey guys, this is my review for Hereditary, a movie that had a lot of really good trailers and PR for this film. Like, really just one very outstanding trailer that did not give anything away, but left you with this sense of mystery and really wanting to watch this film. At least to say, this is definitely one of the more interesting horror films in the, of this year. Definitely nothing is going to match this film. And as a lot of you have seen, this film has gotten a crap ton of praise, which some of it is deserved in my opinion. There is some parts though that are a little bit outlandish, but I'll get into the specifics of it later. The film is centered on the idea of grief. In the film, Toni Colletti and her husband and their kids are at the funeral for Toni's mother, who is who's this very secretive lady who had kind of a secret life and this strange, strange relationship with her daughter and her grandkids. And what we start to see is how the film is relying off the true essential horrors as well as misery and real life altercations that happen in the event of grief or the loss of a, lo the loss of a loved one. Very much like how Babadook was about mental illness, this film centers itself in what people go through with grief and it turns it on an edge to make it into a horror film. Now, when I say horror film, it's kind of interesting to say that because the first 30 minutes you wouldn't think it. You'd think it's just a very strange sort of dark, surreal film about the actual loss of a loved one. But as the film slowly tilters, it doesn't go full edge, it actually slowly builds you into this tension. Which I'll give that the director of this film, despite it being his first feature film, you wouldn't think that because of how well the shots are constructed, how well the scenes are set up, how well the interactions are between the characters. It is a really well constructed film. The cinematography is fantastic. The music is a constant guide and a constant presence in the film. And it's a very haunting soundtrack. And there's all these little things here and there that you'll see throughout the film. Like, for instance, there's this kind of rhythmic humming you'll hear. And at first I thought it was coming from the next theater. But no, it's something that you get when you're in grief. Like, there's this constant unedge, this uneasiness that you have throughout your life. But the instant that Tony starts to talk to people outside of her family, it, it stops. So yeah, little details like that in terms of the grief aspect are great. Speaking of Tony, she's fantastic. She has so much emotion in each scene. This is a very exhausting performance for her because every scene she's in, she's pretty much on the emotional edge, dealing with the grief of what would someone would go through through these events. And she pours her heart into it. Possibly by the end, she's dipping into hysteria and it kind of seemed a little bit funny, a little bit just because of just the antics of what was happening at the end but she is solid throughout the whole film this is definitely probably one of her best performances in her career as for when the horror actually starts it is slow building tension and he goes against the norm i think there's maybe one or two jump scares and one of them involves a bird going into a window and that's it the actual horror of the film is almost laid out right in front of you at one point there's a scene where normally the camera would pan or really pan quickly to see the horror or the, the creature or whatever or whatever is supposed to scare you. In this one scene, which relates to different scenes, open wide frame. And it's almost like you don't notice it. You know, you're checking, like looking around the screen and then you're like, oh. So moments like that are really well done in this film. The presence of the tension is well sought it's it's well grounded into the film however the last 10 minutes is batshit nuts it just leaves the atmosphere of what it had grounded itself in it goes off into loony binville it is so redonkulous that Everyone in the theater was laughing. Now I know there are audiences now that go and see horror films that 
really shouldn't go and see horror films in theaters because they ruin it for other people by just talking and never shutting up. But I'm almost with them because it just goes nuts in the last 10 minutes. And I couldn't really justify any of it because I had no idea what the fuck was going on. So up until the last 10 minutes or so, it's a solid film. It's well shot. It's well constructed. It's got great soundtrack. It's got great performances from all the cast. However, there is one little thing in the film that it's supposed to be a twist, but just with how laid out it was, it was it blaringly obvious to me. So when it turned out that there was a twist, I was, uh, yeah, I picked that up like 40 minutes ago. That's another thing too. It is a slow burn film and you feel it. Holy shit. I felt every minute of this two hour long film. It. If it's not two hours, I, I I think it's two hours, but holy crap, you feel it. It is long. There is a lot in this movie, and it is justified with its story, but whoa. This isn't a movie you're just going to pop in the DVD player and just be like, yeah, let's watch it. No, this is... You really need to put yourself into the mood to watch this. Not just because of its content, but also just because of how freaking long it is. So, Hereditary is a good movie for the most part. It's fantastically constructed by a newbie director. The music is great. Tony Colletti gives a fantastic performance in it, as well as most of the rest of the cast. The tension is against the norm, which I liked. I actually enjoyed that it wasn't of the norm of normal horror films. But as I said, it just goes nuts in the final act. So that's something that people are gonna probably walk away from that's what a lot of people have been saying like oh it's gonna be lingering on you for days it's like yeah because i don't know what the hell that was i'm so utterly confused so in the end guys i'm gonna give hereditary a five out of seven it's a good movie i not of the people's opinion of giving it this high class rating mainly because i'll never see this again it's a one-off for me for sure but some people may disagree with that and put it on a higher pedestal, which I have seen. But that's just my opinion. I know that Chris Stuckman basically called this one of the best horror films of in a long while, and I don't agree with that, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, hope you guys liked this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Anyways, that's all for me, guys. I'll see you on the next one.